know how people will say it's quiet, too quiet. It's kind of like Black Ops 4 right now in the sense that we just had Operation Apocalypse Z kick off a couple of weeks back now at this point, but now we're headed sort of into a zone of either a big question mark or a zone of emptiness. It may not be as big a week as we may necessarily anticipate for Black Ops 4, though there will be something smaller that we'll talk about in this video, but there may be the potential for something unseen and also outside of even just Black Ops 4. There could be some stuff coming in the way of Modern Warfare teasers as we grow ever so closer to that reveal on August 1st, debuting a ton of stuff for MP. So that said, we're going to talk about all the things you should look out for this week in not only Black Ops 4, but just Call of Duty in general. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with all that kind of stuff as it all happens to your updates and any information that comes out for the next title, of course, hit that subscribe button. And with 63% of users not subscribed, I'd like to keep you guys as informed as possible. So the content will still be here daily, but if you want that extra for added notification, let me consider it. That said, let's jump into it. Let's start on the Black Ops forefront because that's, of course, the stuff that we're guaranteed here and, of course, the main title that we have playable right now. We obviously can't play Modern Warfare at the very given moment, but what we end up seeing in Black Ops 4, again, is a whole lot of uncertainty. The big things, though, that we can count on because they happen on a regular basis every single week, firstly, are the playlist adjustments. Now, what we saw last week wasn't really all that much of a playlist adjustment on the leadoff side. PlayStation 4 still had sticks and stones, and then Xbox One and PC had that introduced as they got their first foray into Operation Apocalypse Z. But we found out from the roadmap that this operation is going to have a lot of stress on party games. In fact, it's coming back. There's going to be a party game mosh pit. There's going to be a lot of other game modes returning. My guest, Gun game being one of those either as a solo introduction or in that party game mosh pit but we're gonna have a lot of the smaller modes coming back and again we don't have as much time on this operation it seems like as compared to previously so you'd figured that we'd start to see some of these rolling out as soon as possible so that means that with our standard two weeks lead off on PlayStation 4 side, that means that we may see the reintroduction of any of these number of game modes. So whether that be, again, party game mosh pit as the newer mosh pit with a collection of them, whether we see game modes returning like CTF or something like that, to also thrown in the mix probably with some of the bare bones game modes on rotation, some of the endurance or chaos mosh pits. Honestly, though, it could be a number of anything. We have so much that are open to possibilities and outside sticks and stones, I don't think we're going to see all that many new game modes, though it does say additional, but nothing of the nature of new game modes here with this. So just the playlist refresh in a standard situation, both here on MP and also in Blackout. I wouldn't be surprised if Quad Fog goes away as well and reintroduces, say, Hot Pursuit or Close Quarters Frenzy or Hardcore Blackout. Whatever it may be, there's a whole number of different options that we can see in the playlist refresh happening as of tomorrow. The only other thing that is a certain addition here for this is going to be another round of shop refreshes which I don't really care all that much for these anymore it's just kind of there to me but one thing that we may see is a couple of different camos or master crafts that we may see for the first time we still have a handful of things that we discussed around the time it was data mined for the pc update to kick off operation apocalypse z two days after playstation 4 got it in which we saw things like a swat master craft a paladin master craft or mark 2 a rampart master craft and possibly maybe a secondary mark 2 depending on how it's rolled out and introduced a brand new kn mark Mark II, which honestly I'm really intrigued in that one because it looks really cool. It's like a matte black with an accenting blue and a gold trim. So those sort of things are still up for introduction. We have absolutely no idea when they'll be introduced, but we know they're there and coming during this split. And also one thing to consider is that we don't really know how they're going to be introduced, though we can probably infer given that all things within Operation Apocalypse so far have pretty much come with bundles. Seven of the nine things so far have come with crates or another bundled item along with that. So we'll just have to wait and see but also expect that to be happening as of tomorrow as it normally does now the next thing to look out for is to my knowledge for xbox one and pc because playstation 4 already had this on offer and for whatever reason it seems like exclusivity is extended to these sorts of things as well that being the twitch prime gear that was dropped for the july twitch prime pack though at this point we're practically into august so we'll see if we get another quick turnaround and we get another one here in just a week and a half or two weeks now at this point but along with this you'll end up getting the kilobyte outfit for all specialists you'll end up getting the chomp weapon charm you'll get the bird of prey jump kit you'll get the stream soldier calling card five reserve cases and 100 nebulium plasma alongside all of that now again it's something that is a free extension in a sense 
free is a word with an asterisk here on this one simply because it is kind of pricey to be an Amazon Prime member. I think somebody in the comments the other day mentioned it was like $12.99 or something a month like that, which equates out to be like 100 bucks or so on the year for that deal if you buy it all in one fair sweep. So that's something that, of course, it's not necessarily free. But if you're like me who uses Amazon and Amazon Prime all the time, as is outside of work and outside of gaming, having that and having the ability to have a Twitch account and a Call of Duty account, link them all up together and get some free loot in the sense that it's just sitting there if I don't take advantage of it. That's always cool to have. And of course, we have one more Twitch Prime pack after this for next month. But after that, we don't know if there's going to be any extensions here for it. We don't know what next month is going to have. But for Xbox One and PC users, you should be able to pick this up as of, I think, Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. That'll be the one week point after it was introduced here for PlayStation 4 users. So come Thursday, make sure you pick that up. If you are an eligible user, of course, I'll link everything down there in the description below again to take you to the Twitch Prime page if you need to link all your accounts or if you want to take advantage of it. I think you can actually get a free trial of Amazon Prime and do this if you guys want the stuff that it comes with, but don't necessarily want to stay connected to Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime. I think that still works. I'm not entirely sure, but regardless, the next thing up on deck that we'll talk about is honestly, I think highly unlikely, but it comes now into the question of, again, it being kind of too quiet. We're in our third week of a brand new operation, one that doesn't last as long, admittedly, as the other ones, but still, a third week, it's kind of quiet. We don't have anything up on deck. So my question is that maybe we see something coming out of left field. Maybe we see something like a mini stream event that we saw for the 4th of July. Now, again, I think this is, I can't stress it enough, unlikely, but I want to see what happens here at this week because it's going to set the precedent for the next week, which will be the final week of Apocalypse Z. But because we have two weeks of an absolutely open window here and absolutely nothing really coming in Black Ops 4, it's kind of fishy to me. So I'm wondering if on the horizon there's something of a surprise reveal to maybe even tie in with some of the stuff coming for MW and a sort of cross game celebration. Because as we mentioned in our video the other day, there was actually an ultra weapon bribe that was taken away from one of the buyable bundles. So I'm wondering if that's going to be then replaced by sort of a grindable stream like we saw with the 4th of July, where you can end up organically grinding that out, but it also doesn't add too many on the administrative side. Obviously, I would love to have way more ultra weapon bribes introduced in the game. But from an administrative perspective, you take an ultra weapon bribe that was going to be there, remove it from the paid to access option, and instead add it in the world just via grinding, maybe that's something that happens. Again, I don't think that this is going to. I think that's probably highly unlikely, but it's just kind of too quiet right now on the Black Ops forefront. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe everybody else is entirely content with everything we have right now, but it's just curious. Again, so far into the early spectrums of an operation, we don't have that much outside of shop refreshes and playlist updates. But the final thing we'll talk about here and the biggest things obviously to look out for in terms of the grand world and universe of Call of Duty is that of Modern Warfare teasers because not as of today, but as of come later in this week, it'll start to kick into the countdown for the one week out portion from when we see the full blown reveal of Modern Warfare multiplayer. Now, your guess is as good as mine. I would imagine we see some promo like how we see with each operation about a week out. We get some teasers here and there, whether that be full blown trailers or just some snippets on Twitter or on Reddit or somewhere like that. It could be something as small scale as how we've seen Treyarch do this sometimes where they change their profile picture. It could be anything, but a week out is kind of that prime suspect for when we start to see things ramp up. And that also means that subsequently on the final portion that I want to talk here about is that we're more than likely going to get a lot of leaks and information. Now, your guess honestly could be as good as mine as to what we're going to be seeing, whether that may happen. Honestly, who knows? But of course, it will all tie together and we'll get it all debuted for us on August 1st for that MP reveal and anything that comes along with that one. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. I'm excited to see some full MP gameplay, not just 2v2. 2v2 was a lot of fun to me, no exaggeration. I really did enjoy it. And of course, I enjoyed my hands-on time with it whenever I was out at that press event in May, but I'm excited to see the full thing. I'm excited to see what else gets revealed, what else will end up being showcased to the entire world. And of course, the entire reaction to the community outside of that. So all this kind of stuff is probably coming up in the next few days. Again, right now, as it stands, we're not quite a week out just yet. I think it's what Thursday is that one week out mark. So again, maybe comparable to that Twitch Prime thing. Look forward to that later on in the week, but we'll see where it goes from here. But all that said and out of the way, that is everything here that is up on deck for this week. A smaller 
kind of a little bit too quiet week up on deck and i guess again we'll see where this sets the precedent for next week even going further into all that we'll see where it all goes and we'll keep you up to date but hopefully you enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts in the comments down below are you guys looking forward to seeing anything in particular whether that be teasers or leaks or anything that comes out of mw and modern warfare are you looking forward to hopefully something maybe coming on the horizon we don't necessarily think of in black ops 4 whatever it is feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below that said hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things black ops 4 mp blackout zombies we got you covered the best of updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff and also modern warfare content can't forget that one if you guys want to follow me over on twitter and instagram also to get connected with me outside of youtube practically live on both those those links are down there in the description below well that's it now that i think guys also much for watching modern espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace